Welcome! In front of me is a POCO X3 GT and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So before I get started I'm just going to quickly touch upon well, the state of this device. So you can see that it's telling me to draw the pattern to unlock it so I can finish off the setup or I could use a Google account instead to unlock it. But assuming we don't know either of those, I'm going to guide you through the process of number one, bypassing this, and then second thing will be removing it. So to get started, uh, you want to number one, connect to some kind of network. You can see I am connected to it. And once you have done so, you want to then back out to the uh, not language selection. I'm going to stay right here or maybe even step earlier because we will be changing the keyboard. So once you have your choose your region, we're going to hold volume up and volume down. It's going to bring up this uh, pop up right here. Turn on talkback shortcuts. We're going to select turn turn on and we're going to hold them again. I'm going to mute it just because it's a little bit distracting to me, so I just prefer not to hear it. But once you have this page open, as you can see for me, you want to draw a L like this, or I think it's a mirrored L to be honest. No, no, it's this one. Okay, so just a normal L on the screen. And from there, uh, we're, we will be selecting screen search. So tap on it once to select it and then double tap to confirm it. And once you have this open, we're going to then hold volume up and volume down again. Talk back off. And this just turned off what we needed, which is unfortunate. So let's try it again. Let's see. So I'm just closing it and I want to see. Okay, so it did work. So as you've seen, I just kind of closed this off. Now I'm going to select. I'm going to select the brilliant keyboard. But before I do so, I'm going to suspend the talkback so I can actually do it normally. So I'm going to select talkback brilliant keyboard. Go to the next page. And from here, I'm going to again select it. Go to the next page. Next skip and next page and this will obviously uh, take us to the Wi-Fi connection page so here what you want to do now do is scroll down select add network and then I'm gonna select network name I'm gonna select the turn on and accessibility settings I'm gonna choose accessibility mini enable it and allow and OK. And then we're going to go back. And we're looking for let me just quickly make sure because I'm checking this as I go with the guide. So we're going to access the accessibility menu that we have just turned on. I'm going to select Google Assistant and then we're going to say open settings. Open settings. Opening settings. So there we go. We have just opened settings. Now in here we're going to now scroll down to additional settings. So right over here. And we're going to scroll down again and we're looking for second space. I'm going to select turn on second space. Continue. And then I'm going to select 
using a shortcut. Continue. Set password. Are we going to skip this? Okay, so uh, now that this is well, now that we have our second space open, which you can define based on this wallpaper, which is kind of like bluish, typically you'd have some kind of Xiaomi image, obviously. So this is the second space. Once you have it, you want to hold your power button and you want to select reboot. Now, once the device boots back up, uh, you will see that we are actually taken straight to our well, first space or just the main home screen. The one that you would typically see after I uh, complete the setup, as you can see right now. So as you've seen uh, the previous one, the second space had this uh, static blue wallpaper. This is the main space with the normal wallpaper and we can technically switch between them, but we don't want to do that. So what you want to do now is you're going to navigate into the settings and select about phone. And we're looking for backup, no, no, backup restore. We're looking for factory reset. There we go. So that's what we're looking for factory reset. And simply select erase all data, factory reset. And Xiaomi has this stupid thing where they black you with a timer so you can't press next. So it just wants to hammer down the info that, hey, factory reset, reset your device. Are you sure you want to do that next? And then another 10 seconds wasted, just, you know, even hammering it harder. Now, once this timer goes to zero, obviously you want to click on OK. Now, I'm not going to do this on this video, uh, just because this is a factory reset. It provides uh, well, technically and no extra... Well, there's nothing extra for me to show. Once you press on it, it goes fully automatically through the entire reset, which is a lot of black screen. And once it's finished, you are then taken back to the setup of your phone. Now, at that point, once the factory reset is finished, the device will be fully unlocked. So you won't need to verify anything. Now, I'll be doing a reset of this device in a separate video, just as a reset through settings. So if you want to really see uh, me doing this on this device uh, after the bypass, you can just look for that video. Uh, although I'm not going to be really mentioning in there that this is after a bypass. So uh, for everyone following this up from here, you will know. But other than that, it's just going to be a normal reset on that one. And yeah, anyway, with that being said, this is how you bypass. You just need to perform that last erase. Now, the reason why we need to do this as a last step, just to kind of clarify this, so it's not just kind of, you know, like on a whim, uh, trust me, bro. Uh, so the reason you want to do this is when you're performing a factory reset of the device through settings, uh, the device will automatically remove any kind of protection that was previously used on the device. It's made this way so when you're performing a reset through settings, the device thinks that you're the illegitimate owner, obviously, which in almost every kind of circumstance that would be the case. Uh, but here, if you didn't know your well, whatever Google accounts and other stuff, uh, and you needed to do this, it works basically the same as though you were the legitimate owner. And yeah, performing a reset through settings just kind of forces the device to unlock itself. That's basically the simplest way I can explain it. So that's why I'm telling you to do this as a last step. Now, anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.